We are at the Bloomington Art Center at the Inez Greenberg Gallery, and this show is presented by Artistry Minnesota. And the title of the show is Urban Abstract, and it's paintings by myself, Michael Schmidt, along with sculpture by Luke Achterberg. And I'm a full-time painter. I do, um, I do abstract painting, uh, um, not exclusively, I kind of I've gone down some different paths in my career and this is the path that I'm currently on and it's all kind of a big experiment for me and I go out to my studio every day and don't really know what direction I'm going to go in and you know, we'll, it's, we'll see what happens. I'm Luke Ochterberg and I'm an artist uh, primarily focused on sculpture and more so currently uh, metal sculpture. Pretty obviously I think that when you look at the work that both Michael and I do, it's pretty easily coined as abstraction. Really, it's us being artists and thinking through our own minds and coming up with ideas that, that are based on reality and based on ideas from the real world, but it's not something from the real world. And the urban abstract or the urban abstractions really lend themselves to the idea that when we come together in an urban setting, the flow of ideas back and forth is much more prolific and it, uh, it allows for much more progress in, in the abstraction realm of, of art creation. For me personally, what it means, um, well, I live in the city, so I'm, I'm influenced by the things I see in the city, the, the colors and the shapes. And the urban environment, what you see are um, man-made structures, so straight lines, um, things that are manufactured, and then there's also that, that urban decay that you see. So it's the organic shapes that, that make its way into the paintings as well. And that's kind of how my work relates to, the, to that title, Urban Abstract. I used to use a lot of different types of materials, um, ceramic and asphalt and concrete. And, but I think it's always kind of been metal for me. Um, in 2005, I got a welding technical diploma and then welded for a year as a certified welder and fabricator. And my grandfather taught me how to weld. Um, and right now, the main focus of the type of, of sculpture that I'm doing is all based in uh, stainless steel with, with automotive uh, style paints on them. So this, this work is mixed media collage. It's, um, I, start with, I start with big sheets of just plain white paper and then I I paint it using different kinds of paint. I use oil paint and acrylic paint. I use some printmaking techniques. And my studio is just this massive palette of big sheets of paper, different colors. And I take those pieces of paper and arrange them on, on boards and glue them down and build up layers, build up structure. And then I go back into it and use a grinder and knives and um, other colors and things and just build up build up layers and, and kind of tear it apart again. And the shininess you see of these paintings is uh, it's two-part epoxy resin that I pour over top of it. The paintings are very kind of lumpy and bumpy before I get to that stage. And it really finishes them and it kind of makes all, all stages of the painting equal. Like it's not real obvious which layer is on top of the other layer. I think you have to get up close to the paintings to sometimes understand what they are. I, I think they, I think they're interesting for from a distance, but they're also interesting up close. You can kind of see a little bit of the technique that's going on in there. When I go to describe my stuff, I kind of start to play with notions of blue collar uh, identity versus white collar identity. And so for me, it's it's about the physicality of working with metal and welding and, and these blue collar type industries, coupled with the academic training that I gained through several years, too many years of college. And so when I, when I go to talk about this to somebody who say may not be is quite art educated, I uh, kind of like to play with the notion that they're super colorful and I'm bringing excitement into the world. I don't necessarily have this, these inspirational moments when I'm out in my studio. It's really just about going out to my studio and just working every day. And, and I think that's important for an artist to do, just, just to work every day and let things happen and, and, and go down some paths that are maybe the wrong direction and then kind of turn around and go back and try other things. And I think for me, for me the inspiration is just creativity and experimentation. There's not, 
There's not a specific moment of, it, of inspiration. More just, it's more just about the process for me. I don't go places to seek inspiration. Um, I can find inspiration just working in the studio and looking at a sculpture and being like, oh, wait a minute, I can do this or I can do that. I can push the boundary this way or I could make myself really uncomfortable and try something completely opposite or new. Abstract art is sometimes hard to describe. It's, it's not like music that has uh, uh, words to it or a story. It's more like classical or jazz music where it's just about, it's about the rhythms and the structure and, and you can use your imagination to, to uh, bring your own story into it. I hope that people enjoy the exhibit and I hope that they kind of get that feeling of exuberance and prolificness and, and excitement and, and uh, a real notion of whimsical fun that uh, I try to approach with the sculpture. I hope that that's felt and I hope that uh, it's a visual enjoyment for whoever chooses to uh, engage with the work. So thanks for, thanks for the opportunity.